Hi, my name is Nigel Davis. I work for Cellmac and I'm here today to give you a demonstration on the new ESA 560 touchscreen 19 inch control. Right, first of all, I'd like to do a new medical program. This will be a new program. First of all, we put the width of the plate to be folded. Second is the thickness. The tensile strength of the type of material. We have a tooling library full of thousands of tools. But for the moment, this is a tool concerned, a multi-V, choice of Vs. Double click it and then choose the one you want out of the four Vs. Choice of top tools, standard 1010. The angle to be folded, back gauge setting to be folded, automatically the R axis picks its size and the corrections because we work in external measures has chosen itself there. To save the product now you can do it numerically or you can do it graphically. as simple as that. Right, now I'd like to show uh, graphical programming. Some prefer the graphics, some prefer the numerical. First of all, new graphic, the width of the plate, material thickness, type of material, The V dies, multi V, choice of Vs, insert and choose V number one for two mil. Choice of punches, uh, there's directories of many punches, many dies. At the moment we're choosing this one. Internal external measures, if we want to be working internally, we put a one, press OK. This brings up the drawing package. First we enter the back gauge length, first required, and then the first angle. Second, next back gauge length, and then the angle. You can use the arrows to point roughly in the direction, and then add your next measurement. Next angle, down, next measurement, Next angle, next measurement. Basically that's the product. What we'd like to do now is calculate the product. The computer has worked out that it has uh, calculated a way of folding it without anything crashing on the tooling. Um, basically now we'll optimize and simulate. So first we press, you'll show the first bend Press again, shows the second bend, and same on and on. Once you're happy with that, press it one more time, confirm it. The product is now ready to be folded to make any corrections and to save, the same as before. You can save as graphical or numerical. We'll save it as uh, Nigel. Okay and the machine is now ready to run. Basically from this page, um, once you've done your first fold, you can then go into corrections. Obviously the develop lengths there for cutting your blank size. If a three degree correction plus or minus is required you enter it here minus three enter if they're all 90 degree you can put the same correction through this route of corrections per bend per section per piece but it's just as simple to put it into the main numerical page fully automatic and graphic and run
uh, basically um, once you've done the program you can go back in and add other things to it to speed the job up and to make it more safe retract for a start off if uh, the job's going to crash first of all you'd like to be able to do a retract let's say 50 mil and automatically if that bend instead of moving in closer to the next bend moves out top dead center this can be programmed to suit uh, the job depending on what open night you require 53 can be 10 mil whatever suits the gap that is required the force this is the tonnage and can be adjusted above what is automatically calculated um, like the crowning the crowning will automatically adjust itself if you've had this feature added to the machine um, basically it always works it out automatically and if you need a little bit more crowning you just increase the figure simple as that CST this is to make any job coming forward after a fold you can tell it to wait there you can tell it to wait there for 99 seconds and then you press the pedal it will automatically come in or you can program uh, a five second delay this is done here so 99 you're in control with the foot pedal or you can put a three second three second delay in comes the back gauge pinch this is to plus or minus the pinch point if you find the job slips as the back gauge moves you can calculate plus or minus in here until it pinches it nicely and then move on mute can be programmed uh, standard is 20 mil you can program plus or minus here and the mute can be 60 70 mil uh, safety is there because the machine once in mute is running uh, at 6.06 .06 millimeters per minute bend time this is for the amount of time left at the bottom of the fold where the tonnage is finally created and it takes all the stresses out of the steels some take longer than others stainless slightly bit longer plastisol is a good uh, material there that needs a lot of uh, time on stress but mild steel could be done a lot quicker match this is the speed out of the bend when folding three meter plates uh, two people are required but to take the back braking work out of it you would basically program slow speed to stop whipping and to allow the operator to follow the sheet you can program again a slow speed for coming into the bend so in out slowly and you can program in the pinch point a size how far you want to be out of the fold so it allows for the metal to be put down safely by the press brake rather than the operator repeat is to repeat a bend and RI is to tell you the inside radius of the job once it's folded uh, rest support basically you have three positions on your back gauge probes by pressing the rest support you can change it by 30 mil and then another 30 mil depending on which part of the probe you'd like to work from and it automatically datums the uh, back gauge to that position you will see done in corrections on the screen calendaring this is uh, basically when you want to form a radius to an angle uh, by using several folds Dutch bending this is where you fold to 35 degrees and then you flatten there's a program for that there and obviously if you've already drawn a program you can go back into the draft piece and maybe recalculate the way you want to fold it um, or press calculate along the side here we have a menu bar we have uh, saving program updates you can insert a step copy a step delete a section um, general data we have uh, accessing parameters, configuration and diagnostics, which is ba basically used by the engineers for checking things out and making sure they're working properly. Um, we can save to memory stick uh, on every machine. Uh, comes with a mem memory stick with all its parameters originally saved, which is kept in the electrical panel. Um, but if you want to add any more tools to the machine in here, you can choose a tool, save it to memory stick, 
you know that you're using that for the future should you have a fatal error like someone driving into the into the control with a forklift you would still have everything on memory stick